Right, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, champions, and welcome back to another video. And today we're looking at Artificer on normal. Okay, so. Quickly before we start, I want to shout out my Twitch stream where we go live every Sunday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 7:30 to 11 p.m. UK, playing WoW, answering all your Fury Warrior questions. And if you want to further support us, then please do consider giving this video a like, subscribing to the channel, and turning on your notifications. Anyway, on with the video. So yes, welcome back to another commentary and today we're looking Artificer on normal. It's a really fun fight. I personally really like this and the tactics are brilliant on it. It's just all round a very well designed fight. So as always, we're going to go over tactics as a whole. We're going to go over tactics for heroic where they're appropriate. And we're also going to go over things as a Fury Warrior just to be mindful of and things that you can do as a Fury Warrior which helps you out in this fight. So let's go straight to the commentary. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, good luck. Everyone, pardon me. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> and here and now. As always, you're making sure you're going in with a free pot, you're going in with your flask on, you're just going in with everything and anything that you need. As you can see there, we heroed a little bit later because it was otherwise going to be a waste on it. So you always hero as soon as they come into the main damage area. We do the entirety of our fight as well on the left-hand side. Just... We like it that way around. And as you can see, there's people dropping portals. You're for this first phase, first two phases actually, you want these portals being dropped, one at the front and one at the back. Straight after this, we've got a fixation. A lot happens at once here, but we have fixation coming up. When you are fixated, use the portals to run away quicker. As you can see here, someone didn't run away fast enough, so you just have to DPS them out of the sleep slash trap that they have. But definitely go for affliction. Affliction is one of the strongest at the moment, even though Jamag slash H will tell you no. Again, here, I often do it myself, but we've started to like leave it in the hands of the players now. But again, dropping the portals, one at the front next to the boss and one at the very, very back. There's also tears that are kind of leaving beams on the floor. Get out of the way of those. They do a lot of damage, especially in Heroic. They do a lot of painful damage. Stage two starting, focus on your uh, seeds. So as you can see, stage two is starting. A few people prior to the starting of this raid are set to handle the seeds. There'll be one in DPS, one where Artificer starts, one by the gate when you first walk in and one at the very back of the room. You only need to move three of them and ideally you want to use kind of fast moving classes. We use Hunter and Demon Hunter and a Druid, I believe. If you are one of those people, all you've got to do is move the seeds to the back and use the portal to come back up front. As a Fury, you can do this because you can theoretically leap over, grab the seed, and then go to the back, drop it off, and then portal back to the front. Beautiful. As always, through the entire fight, you just want to make sure that you're casting your rampage at the right time, you're maintaining your abilities as a whole, and you're not kind of leaving anything to the wayside. If you're getting triggers, cast them. If you've got any be it sudden death triggers, be it raging blow triggers. And like I said, with Rampage, make sure you're getting them out quickly as possible. So, oh, hi, holy Japanese. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Welcome to old schooler. Welcome to old schooler. Welcome to old schoolers. How did you find our stream? I may have fucked up. What did you fuck up on? Are you okay? Do tell. Mind your seats. Good job. Again, just to repeat the seeds there, you lose the first phase's fixation during this second phase, which is quite nice. There's also another thing to be mindful of when you go to Heroic. There'll be traps that spawn on the floor. You'll see them as small swells underneath you. You just have to move out of the way and get someone with kind of BOP, like a paladin to kind of soak these up. Just start playing again. Ah, oh, that's, that's not a mistake. That's the best thing ever. Once the seed phase is done, which you can see is now done here, you're going to want to start dropping the portals one next to the boss and one in the center of the wall because this ability here will suck you all in. It didn't there though because I got my timings wrong. <laughs> we were doing it really, really quickly, so it kind of got confused. <laughs> there you go. That's the ability. So here you want to hug the walls and if you have druids, we have like four of them. So we just get them to cast Stampede and it means you haven't got to do the tactic. When you go to Heroic, you have to go and do the tactic. You have to let it drag you in and use the portal to bounce back out. Hence why you put the portal in the center of the room. There's a weak aura as well that helps with this. I'll put a link down below to kind of help you if you get stuck on this. But in Heroic, you can't cheese it like that at all. Again, having two more tears being dropped. You have one person at the front, one person dropping it where that kind of hammer axe is. 
and use those portals to jump in and uh, jump in and out of when annihilation is happening but like i said we use we use one of the stampeding roars to ensure that we're as close to the front as possible <laughs> i'll read the first message in a second to see where, where you're stuck at the moment sorry <laughs> do apologize when uh, on these days jonathan i do a uh, raiding uh chargey runny thing Again, we just cheese it with that ability. Like I said, in Heroic, you can't cheese it and you will have to allow yourself to be dragged into the portal and then bounce back out again. But in normal, cheese it like this. Stampeding works a lot better there than actually trying to do anything. There's no real other nuances during this fight other as far as Fury Warrior is concerned other than just making sure you're doing the right things. You can do quite big DPS during this entire fight, so stick to it, get to it, and have some fun. It's all good, it's all good. Mine beams. Lovely job. This one is down. We get one last annihilation there, but it kind of glitches out. Really bizarre. But we actually did, I think, really well during this entire fight. It was our it was a it was a two shot. So we actually did it on our second one um rather than the first one. But that was a new record for us at the time. This is quite an old, like I said in the previous one, this is, these are quite old videos. So these are pre-buff, these are pre-new legendaries and such. But really, really fun fight. Like I said, it's really enjoyable. Those key things to remember are mind the beams on the floor. Make sure you're dropping the portals in the right place, especially as a fairy warrior. You can leap around and make this a little bit easier for yourself. So if you are a portal dropper, make sure you're dropping them in the correct places, be it next to the boss or at the back of the room or in the center of the room from the third phase out. Again, the main thing to worry about as a DPS is the fixation when that comes. The seeds as well, if you are one of the people who's been chosen to do the seeds. And then in Heroic, you have that additional you have that additional thing of the traps that come underneath you. Again, if you get hit by one of those, just get someone to DPS you out of them. And you can use someone like a Paladin or a Hunter to run through them to soak them whilst they're using an immunity. Other than that, though, really fun fight, both on Heroic and on Normal. Really, really fun fight. I personally love it. Didn't get any loot on this round, but always next time, isn't there? The loot's gone up by 33% now, so hopefully... On the fresh ones that we're getting this week, we're going to hopefully actually get something decent out of it. But other than that, as always, all the supporters are going up below, up, up above even. If you want to be on that list, the support from there comes from Twitch and from Patreon. So do consider it if you want to support further. But other than that, we'll see you on Thursday's video. Bye-bye.